Hello and a very warm welcome to Meghan and Harry News YouTube channel. On one side we have the toxic media with their 24-7 negative coverage of Meghan and Harry, the majority of it being completely fabricated, and is all part of an orchestrated smear campaign, all because they left the royal family, and now financing themselves a successful release record-breaking Netflix series and books that break records, and then on the other you have the firm who take money from the UK taxpayers and are woefully unsuccessful. And this, in a nutshell, is what all this smear campaign is about. It's about trying to cover up the failing of one and to hide the success of the other. Here we see Kate Middleton's family costing the taxpayer for their failing business. As it states here, taxpayers may be forced to foot the bill for the Princess of Wales parents loan after party pieces went bust owing bank 220 that thousand pounds you would think that these families would not need loans that they could get a loan from their family seeing that their family is one of the richest in the world worth an estimated 80 billion but no they get loans from banks and it ends up costing the public not the firm it says here the collapse of the party firm run by the Princess of Wales' parents, will reportedly leave the taxpayer facing a loss. Carol and Michael Middleton received a loan from NatWest Bank, backed by the taxpayer during lockdown, when parties were banned. Party pieces were set, were set up by the couple in 1987, after Mrs Middleton struggled to find party goods for the fifth birthday of her daughter Kate, who is married to Prince William. However, the firm is now going through an insolvency process and owes NatWest £220,000, the Times reported. It has been sold through a pre-PAC administration deal, an insolvency procedure that allows an insolvent firm to sell its assets to a buyer before appointing administrators to entrepreneur James Sinclair for £180,000, which is £40,000 less than party piece owes for the loan. The taxpayer is liable for 80% of what is owed to NatWest under the terms of the government's coronavirus business interruption loan scheme. Party pieces revenue dropped by more than 1 million to 3.2 million in 2022, landing the company with a net loss of 900,000 before tax. Discussions were held with creditors over its lack of immediate liquidity, but the company was told there was no flexibility to defer a deal with the highest pressure creditors. Other members of the family also claimed support from the government during the COVID pandemic. James Matthews, husband of Pippa Middleton, claimed furlough for a Scottish shooting estate, Glen Affric. Meanwhile, Mike Tyndall, who was married to Princess Anne's daughter, Zara, claimed furlough through his company. News of party pieces debt came as critics call for transparency in the administration of the taxpayer-backed loan schemes rolled out during the pandemic. The majority of the royal family's expenses are covered by an annual taxpayer-funded payment known as the Sovereign Grant, which in the 2021 to 2022 financial year was set at £86.3 million, roughly £1.29 or $1.61 for every person in the UK. This, some believe, is a very conservative figure, a figure that has been massaged and is acutely far, far higher. So not only are their expenses paid, but they look for loans from banks which are backed by taxpayers. Is it any wonder seeing how they are propped up by others that they don't make enough effort with their business endeavours? Now compare that to Meghan and Harry who don't take any money from the taxpayer, who are not funded by the sovereign grant, who are now completely self-financed and are successful and very successful. They have signed multi-million pound deals and have delivered hugely successful programmes and books in regards to their deals. And not only that, they have also given much back. For example, when Harry's book Spare was announced, the publisher promised donations of $1.5 million or £1.25 million and £300,000 respectively would be made to the charity's Centre Bowl 
and well child. And this is the primary reason for the smear campaign against them. It is jealousy over their popularity, jealousy over their success, and most of all, to deflect from the fact that since leaving the royal family, they are now completely self-financed through their own businesses, while the royal family are still taking money and funded by the public and getting loans from back banks that are being backed by the public's taxes, loans for businesses that are failing, loans that they could easily get through their own huge amount of wealth that they already have. Let me know your opinion in the comments.